to uh, con have the with the congregational realize the importance of regular attendance. Comes the worship. Comes the worship. Be there or we'll come and get you. Yeah. Okay. We know where you live. Okay. Number three, church with a pool. Church <laughs> with a pool. He went a bowling alley too. A bowling alley too? A bowling <laughs> alley. Small bowling alley. <laughs> okay, what does that mean for you? I mean, besides the joke of it. Is it is there something behind that? No, I just shall. No. Just play. Silly. So, Are you? Okay. I think yeah. so you want to Actually, the, the number three, the real one, was the entire congregation be involved in one or two, or one or more ministries. Okay. Everybody, entire congregation. Uh, one, two, okay, right. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Um, my question was not to have the constant worry of money so that we can go focus on more important things. Okay. And then, um, second one is, I want people to say, wow, I want to be a part of that. Uh -huh. And I gave the example, I have a friend that his life was in complete, completely upside down, work, everything, and he decided that he wanted his business to be like Tom's Shoes, except yeah. he builds houses. Uh -huh. So he builds a house, he builds a house, he goes to Mexico, and they build a house for somebody. Like, I want like something to be part of something that's transforming like that. It's transformed him as much as it has the lives of the people they're building houses for. So th So every time he builds a house, he goes to Mexico and builds uh -huh. a house, just like Tom's Shoes? Yeah, like they've done like five or six already. That's cool. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, so there's something about that. It, it's like the, the, uh, I want the church to be so inspiring. Yeah. Okay. There's a part of that. That's, that's great. I love that house. Tom built the business. We don't forget Tom's Shoes. House. Okay. okay. And then... Um, <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me see if I can. You can't remember. Okay. Yes. Something about not having a place. We don't have a place like our own uh, house of worship. Yeah. But I don't want it to deter people's participation. I want them to be open to something different. Okay. So church. One of your wishes is churches. Uh, it's not about the place. It's about the people. So the people I don't want to be deterred. That. Yeah. From that. Place less important. I thought that was an interesting way you phrase it too. So not having a place, I don't want people to uh, to deter people's participation. So because we're a church in a school, to yeah, hopefully that. people it's, can transcend that and yeah. see that. It's not easy. It's like, I, I like, it. I like, I like it because it's green. We're reusing. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, it's a green church. So no. that <laughs> no, but, but that drew me. I would. Okay, so uh, mine first was financial stability, okay. uh, requiring growth. <laughs> um, second one was um, that the church would be would stay open and flexible to God's leading, and not become narrow-minded, uh, not stuck in one way. Um, that they would always be open. So the third one uh, would would be a balance uh, in in reaching others for Christ, but also teaching them how to grow in Christ and uh, just loving one another. So that balance, not, so uh, I think what I'm saying is not to have a focus on one thing, but to have a real balance, reaching the community, teaching the community how to walk with God, uh, you know, being a part of that and and lo really loving one another to live out what we believe. What do you really mean? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> well, partly that you said balance several times, which tells me yeah. that that that. Um, well, let's come back. To well, let me living, get, let me get all, it out. Let, let, me, yeah, let me get them all up here, and then we'll, we'll tease them. Out. Go ahead. Um, my first one was a vibrant children's ministry. For example, Sunday school. I want, I think that's important because that, since there's so many families in Ladera with kids going to Sunday school, I want their kids to be excited about it and want to come back and say, let's go to Sunday school. I gotta go to Sunday school. I want that for them. Yeah. Um, my second one is a vibrant youth group. Same thing for them. 
And then my third one. Um, college group. Something like college. <laughs> <laughs> We're seeing a pattern. <laughs> no. Um, Steve and I have been talking a lot about small groups involvement and having more small groups so that um, people can get cared for. I think they can get cared for better in a small group than they can at church on Sunday. Although Steve hates the word small group. I know. Life, life groups. groups. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's the small, small part. Yeah. The small, at least the small part. Big yeah. groups. Yeah. I want more large groups. But I would be Or a carpool group, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. his was um, that we would be passionate, passionate about having or giving grace to the community. Um, coming to know Christ, evangelism, um, that we would requ- that we would not require a financial subsidy, and three, that we would be known for a children's ministry where parents and kids want to bring their kids, that it would be the best, that people would say, that's the best children's ministry. I agree. <laughs> And who's running it? Is what Dennis added there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, it's Susan. You know, Dennis's wife is the one. Oh, that's right. Forward. Oh, is it? Oh, to, yeah. yeah. To run the children's. Oh, wow. yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Oh man, that Susan makes sense. sense. Yeah, that yeah. does. That makes a lot of sense. That's great. Okay. Uh, let's see, Steve. Sure. Mine's are a little. <laughs> More esoteric. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is why you don't get to be the only voice. I was gonna be. Exactly yeah, for that reason. That's true. Uh, I wrote uh, that we would be open to figuring out what a church of the future looks like instead of something uh, that was successful either now or yesterday. I, I think of that in terms of like who in the world would ever want to go, uh, this is just my mindset, but I'd never want to go and be pastor at the Crystal Cathedral because <laughs> it was like big, huge, but it almost seems like the best days are past. Big, I want to figure huge, out what impressive worldwide bankrupt. Yeah. yeah, I want to figure out what the next looks like. So my second one yeah, was that we'd be a place, uh, a, a training ground for ministry, and I'm thinking particularly like interns. And we've had Chris with us. We had uh, Ed. John. John. Uh, Ed. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Us. I, I love that. I thought that was great for us, and it was and it was a good experience for them. And finally, I want to find a way to pay our bills. <laughs> yeah, I have a solution. To all pay the whatever bills stuff. we have. I have a solution to all the financial stuff. Don't give it yet, because okay. we'll save it, because you know, it'll, it'll, it'll let us end on a big high note. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll seem so impressive when you come up with that. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Um, confidence in our financial situation, the questions regarding our financial situation be resolved. I think I would add to that, though, is that it doesn't necessarily mean that we are self-sufficient on a self-contained basis, but that just to, that we can be funded either by ourselves or in some other means so that we have the confidence that we can move forward with the things we want to do. Now, that's actually, that's a nice nuance. Yeah, because self-sufficiency may be more of a, a wish or hope, but really what it is is we have an economic thing that works. That right. We're, we're right. economically viable. Right. Mm-hmm. Is, yeah. Okay. Right, and whether that means that there is, you know, continued support provided outside our church, or whether we get the numbers to generate the, the self sufficiency internally. I mean, just we need the confidence that our financial situation is secure. Yeah. Uh, secondly, that uh, others come to participate. We've got an awful lot to offer, um, and people need to experience what we have to offer. They 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 will be transformed by. Um, and then uh, the last one was that I'd like to see us uh, in a situation where we no longer have to set up and break down on a weekly basis. I just think that takes an inordinate amount of energy, attention. It pulls people away from the uh, relational experience that we, we have to offer. Okay. And that doesn't necessarily mean we need our own building. It just means